Okay, so in this video, we are going to build a drop down button. It may look simple, but actually it's not that simple. And it's one of not the hardest thing to do, no, but uh, it's not that simple. It's not a simple animation. You will see that we need JavaScript, CSS, and indeed HTML. Okay, so let's got it. Okay, so here we are, here we are in VS Code with an index HTML, app.js, style CSS. You have everything in the description. Uh, the code source and the resources. The resources will be just an SVG right there to um, create the plus icon, okay? So we start with the HTML right there, great. So a button with the class of dropdown BTN. Mm -hmm, great. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> we open it and we will just build a, a block top div. And inside it, there will be modify, modify text and an image from resources at, uh, at that SVG. And we can write it, uh, add icons. Great. So this is the uh, top block actually, like, uh, like I said it's there, and it will have the text and the little image. And below it, but still inside the button, we will have a list block link, block links, for example, and L I A. And inside we can put some uh, link, for example, link one and link two and link three, just to simulate some, uh, some elements right there. Okay. So we can open with live server, but there will be that huge icon. This is the add icon. And so you can, we can, we can style it right now. So up, up, okay. There is a simple reset, margin padding, box sizing, and just some font family. Okay. So just for the image, I will put a width of 20 pixel just to uh, shrink it. Great. Now, drop down BTN, drop down BTN. So the overall BTN, drop down GPM. Up. Display block, a width of 300 pixel, but you can make it responsive with some media queries and border radius five pixel margin 100 pixel top auto left right zero bottom color f1 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 so kind of white border none outline none but you can uh, keep the outline for real world example for the accessibility purpose uh, and then a cursor pointer Background, uh, beautiful uh, violet background. So 103, 75 and 200 and 24 like that. Great. Now border radius five pixel. Okay, great. And, 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 and that's all for the, um, the base button right there. Okay, so that, that's all for it. That's all for um our, our big container and we will put overflow hidden later on just to um to hide everything that exceeds our base button right there so for now i can just comment it and add transition on height height 0 0.4 second is in out okay great and we will add a height in GS, so with JavaScript actually, and I will explain it to you a little bit later. So block top with the text and the image padding 20 pixel. So we are there, 20 pixel. Width of 100 pixel, display flex, justify content space between. So justify content, where is it there? Space between. So to put some space between the two elements and uh, align item center to center on the Y axis. So the cross axis with flexbox, border radius five pixel and a font size of 20 pixel like that. Okay, that's nice. Now the image, so the block top image, we can uh, let it li like that. Yes, 20 pixel, looks nice. Now the list block links padding of 0 and 22 pixel, great. And we can put there a list style type none. Okay. And a block links li um, padding five pixels, sorry, five pixels, zero and text align left. 
because since we are in a button, it will have a text align center. Okay, so we need we need to put some text align left like that. So we want to see our list. So this is right there. Okay, so this is our list. There is still that blue color of link, so we need to take care of that. So, okay, so the links will have a font size of 18 pixel, color F1, 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 margin left, marge left, 5 pixel. Whoops, 5 pixel. Okay, just to create a little offset. And this is nice, but there is no padding at the bottom and it looks kind of uh, weird. So it's time to add the some paddings, block links, li last child. So the, the last child will have a pad bottom of 25 pixel. And that's much better, right? Okay, okay, now we can we can uncomment overflow hidden and start to work on our JavaScript. So app.js right there. Okay, great. So const drop down equal document that query selector drop down btn okay so this is our global container const block top equal document dot query selector block top okay and then we do want all the links so all links equal document dot query selector whoops <laughs> query selector block links li Great, great, great. Okay, that's great. Now, now, now it's the tricky part. We do want the overall height and we do want the block top height. And for this, we do have some nice property uh, with the DOM. It's scroll, scroll height. It's a scrollable height and it will give us the height of elements. So we do want the all drop, all drop down height equal drop down, uh, drop down, dot, dot, scroll height like that and pixel indeed. Okay. And we do want the block top height. So the, the top part and it will be block top dot scroll height, height, scroll height, pixel. Okay. And now in JavaScript, we are going to give drop down dot still style dot height equal block top height okay block top height so basically our drop down overall will have the height of just the block top and since he has overflow hidden that will hide everything else okay so trust me this is the simplest way and the most reusable 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 to do it Okay, so now we need to toggle things. We need to toggle things when we click on the drop down. Drop down. So drop down. Dot add event listener. Click. We will execute drop anim. Anim. A nim. Great. Okay, so now we just create let toggle index. We will need a toggle with our function drop anim. Great, and now it's time for a lovely ternary operator. So toggle index is true, question mark. Now we just put there some parentheses since it will be, there will be a multi-line uh, return. So there will be a multi-line return, yes. So uh, we need um, parentheses in JavaScript when you have a multi-line returns. So like when you are coding it with React and JS6, for example, JSX. So drop down. If toggle and the index is true, drop down dot still dot height equal block top height. Okay, and toggle index equal false. Okay, so if it's true, if it's true, if toggle index is true, drop down will take the height of block top height. So just the uh, the top block, and then we toggle the uh, the index. Else, so colon. And right there, we can just copy. You can put uh, that here if you want. And if it's false, then it will take the uh, all drop height and toggle index will be true. So let's see, let's refresh everything. Great, I click and I click and I click and I click. Okay, so let's recap everything. Every time we click on the drop down, 
it will trigger drop anim. And basically when we arrive on the website, drop down will have the height of block top. So the, the, the block top right there, okay? So let's, Im let's imagine this is the first time we arrive on the website and we click on it. Toggle index is set to false. So it will trigger the second uh, thing right there and it will give the full height for the drop down. Okay, so up, it gives the full height and it will toggle uh, toggle index and it will make it to true, okay? And second time, if I click on it again, well, it will trigger it again, but now it will execute this. Uh, there I put a, a comma, okay, and not a semicolon, so be careful. And if I click on it again, it will uh, take the uh, height of block top, okay? So this is how you build a drop down in HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I hope you've liked it and see you next time. Bye.